Yesterday, the Minister for F-35s told this House that he was listening to experts. Well, in November, an expert Pentagon panel found 13 major design flaws with only 20 percent of the testing complete. In response, the F-35 program manager acknowledged that the production plan was, and I quote, a miscalculation. So in light of the expert assessments, will the minister now acknowledge that his plan to replace the CF-18 is based on a miscalculation and put this contract out to tender? Yeah. Yeah. Speaker, the member opposite is wrong. F-35s are coming off the production line, pilots are flying them, and over 60 Canadian industries are benefiting from the manufacturing of parts for this particular program. Industries in British Columbia, Alberta, Manitoba, Quebec, Nova Scotia. Why is the NDP against jobs for Canadians, Mr. Speaker? I remember from Beaches, East York. Mr. Speaker, our allies did not need the program manager to advise them that this project is based on a fundamental miscalculation. It's been obvious to most for a long time. That's why our allies, including the U.S., have been delaying their purchases, reassessing their orders, and putting in place backup plans. But if this minister is going to ignore the experts, then perhaps he'll share the research findings of his colleague from Delta Richmond East and tell us, with the production schedule indeterminately delayed, how much will it now cost to deliver F-35s by 2020? 